guys choice filling is now also going on so this is the most important video that you must be watching because i have answered here many of your queries which have come to me now choosing a pg branch is like marriage if you love a stream you shouldn't see any criteria you should go for a stream like from third year part one of my mbbs journey only i was fixed that i am going to take dermatology so even if after getting a great rank i chose dermatology only i didn't choose radiology because dermatology was my love and i wanted clinics in my life a sort of name and reputation through my practice also that's why i chose dermatology but in case you are not having any affinity towards any branch then you have to see the criteria thus regarding the criteria i have talked in a separate video you can watch the video till the end and in the end screen you will get the link to the video first question is dnb in a good college versus md in a peripheral medical college in this case i will advise you to go for dnb in a good private college because there the protocol based approach is followed and you will be working under the best clinicians so your learning will be one of the best moreover in dnb there is no bond so you don't have to serve any bond after your md and you can go for dm super specialization next very frequently confused question and among the toppers what to choose radiology or dermatology in this case you have to choose that whether you want clinics in your life or not if the answer is yes go for dermatology or else go for radiology because radiology has much more earning potential than dermatology now you may be frightened about ai but no one knows the future no one can predict the future ai will not replace radiologist the radiologist who know ai they will replace the radiologist who don't know ai so you will have to inculcate ai that's it that's the take home point and the scope of intervention radiology is going to boom so radiology has more earning potential than dermatology next question is whether to go for dnb medicine or go for md pediatrics and go for adult dm in this case i will advise you to go for dnb medicine because if you don't like it your residency will be going to be held because in pediatrics apart from children the neonate the infant population also you have to take care the niku piku all the emergencies you have to handle so if you don't like children then your life is going to be held so go for dnb medicine coming to next important question is dnb chest medicine versus dnb emergency medicine if you have an adrenaline rush saving the lives of patient then go for dnb emergency medicine or else chest medicine is has a better scope than emergency medicine because chest medicine you can have an independent setup emergency medicine you won't have an independent practice like opd so in chest medicine you can have your opd and earn a lot next question is palliative medicine or radiation oncology the scope of palliative medicine is limited in india and the concept is not well implemented in india so radiation oncology is a booming stream more and more medical colleges are also having departments of radiation oncology they are opening units and they are taking residents in their hospitals so you are going to see a boom in the government sector and also in the private sector coming to pre and para clinical subjects md microbiology versus md pathology md pathology has more scope than microbiology moreover if you do oncopath or specialization in dermatopath by doing fellowships then you are going to see more number of patients and these fields are also rising a lot moreover from md pathology you can go for dm hematology which has a huge patient base and you will enter a clinical stream only coming to md community medicine versus md pharmacology in this aspect i think if you ask for jobs then it is more available in the community medicine perspective because the who jobs the government jobs in the state or the central government it is more focused on the community medicine however you can go for the pharma companies in the pharmacology stream but the baseline pay is 70 to 80000 only if you can contribute well enough in the research you can earn in crores so this depends upon your skill in the pharmacology but community medicine you are going to get common job and you will have connections with people anatomy versus biochemistry versus physiology in this aspect 
biochemistry has more scope if you don't have inclination towards any stream then go for biochemistry because you can be associated with the pathology labs and you can earn a lot from that coming to the last question that is dnb neurosurgery or plastic surgery or is it better to go for ms then go for mch so if you are fixed that you want to become a plastic surgeon or neurosurgeon then go for dnb six years but if you are not so much confident in that then don't go for dnb six years go for ms explore your horizon because in dnb it will be monotonous uh, studying one subject during ms you can explore all the possibilities and you can choose the best possible thing so if you are fixed then go for dnb if you have fluctuating mind then go for ms general surgery in this video guys i will advise you to close your eyes and dream how your next 10 years of life will be dream that how you want your next 10 years of life to be uh, from waking up to practicing if you get the answer you will get the answer to which stream you want to choose so have the ability of think 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 a lot and trust your instinct more than the intellect even because if you are thinking that I should take this stream, but you don't know the reason why I'm taking it, but your instinct is saying that you should take the stream, then you can trust your instinct and take the stream. So guys, you can subscribe to my channel. And if there are any other queries, then you can let me know in the comment section below. I will try to answer all of your queries. Now you can see the video on how to choose the PG branch according to criteria and what are the highest earning PG branches. All the best for your counseling and also the INICT tomorrow.